Hi, this is Kez from Planet Starter. The site that you are looking at here is an HTML site that one of our members is going through the process of converting to WordPress using Theme Starter. And what you have here is a little JavaScript powered calculator that this particular business is, is using as um, part of their part of their sales presentation. So the question that we had from, from this member is how can they get this form because it uses JavaScript and it uses form code which a WordPress page will mangle if you try to use it. How can they get this to work inside of their theme? So I'm going to show you how to how to do this by creating a, a custom page template inside the theme starter framework and then injecting the the form code and the JavaScript that you need for this calculator to work into the actual page template. So whether or not you, you think you might find yourself needing to set up a calculator like this or use JavaScript, this will still give you an idea of what you can do with creating custom page templates and how you can use the modular structure of the framework to do pretty much anything that you need. So the first thing that I want to explain to you just a little bit about is the, the structure of all of our themes. There's two folders that we're going to be looking at here today. You have this folder here, which you'll find in any of our themes, and it is named the TSF library, so Theme Starter Framework Library. So in this folder, you will find all of the files that are responsible for uh, saving your settings in Theme Starter, uh, creating your defaults, but in this case, most importantly, this is the area where your layout is controlled. So you have your blocks. You'll be familiar with blocks from working in Theme Starter. Your, each of your eight blocks is represented in this folder. So you have your header block, your content area block, your footer block, and so on. The files for all of those are inside this blocks folder. And you don't need to worry too much about the other folders for the purposes of this tutorial. And the other folder we're going to be looking at is the content layer for WordPress. So content layer underscore WordPress. In this folder is where you will find the files that are responsible for the content that gets loaded into each of those blocks. So you can actually, by controlling the files in this folder, you can load any type of content at all into any of your eight blocks. So that, that means you can Imagine that that means you have a whole lot of flexibility. You've got all the things that are built into the default framework, but then you have unlimited flexibility to be able to build anything extra into the framework as well. And the other files that are relevant to this tutorial are some of the, the default WordPress template files that you'll find in here. So, uh, for example, you have the single.php file. This is the file that WordPress will automatically load if you're looking at a single post. And this is the file that we use to actually pull all of our blocks into the theme and display them in the order that you have set in Theme Starter. Now, I'll try not to go into too much detail. I don't want to overwhelm you too much in this tutorial. I will, I think probably the best way to explain this all to you is to just show you the process. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make a new top level template file. And this is going to be the file that WordPress loads once it has detected that you are wanting to use a page template. So these four templates here are the custom templates that you have access to uh, changing show and hide settings through theme starter and so if you grab and copy one of these four template files anytime you want to make a custom template file it's going to be the the easiest one for you to work with so I'm just going to make a copy and paste this template file and I'm going to rename it to something that works for my purposes so I'm going to call it calculator template you can call it anything you want and then I'm just going to open that up in Dreamweaver, which is my personal preference for 
uh, code editing. You can do this in any type of code editor that you want. If you don't have a code ed editor, you can just use Notepad or any, any basic text editor. So that's the first part of the process. We've just created that top level template file. And now we want to, because we don't want to use the standard content area block, we want to customize what's going to happen in the content area so we can load that calculator in. I'm also going to make a custom block file. So we've got, here's our normal pages block file. So I'm just going to make a copy of that, just copy and paste. And I'm going to rename that content area pages and I'm just going to put calc on the end so we know that this is the custom block that we're now going to be using instead of the the normal block that gets used in the cal in the um the content area for pages. And then the last thing that we're going to do is because we we also want to change the content that's getting loaded in. I am going to grab a copy of this page single file duplicate that and I'm going to rename it to page calc and I'm going to open that up in Dreamweaver as well ready for editing. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is give this custom template a name this this little area here in between these slashes and asterisks this is the name that's going to show up in your list of available page templates in the drop down inside your WordPress page editor. So I'm just going to call that calculator and save that. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of, of little lines that say get theme block, get theme block, get theme block. What this is doing is getting each of the eight blocks of your theme in the order that you want them to be. So this one's getting your header, this is getting your main menu, and so on and so on. And the one we want to affect is the content area, because that's what we're customizing. So we made this custom content area block file, and we called it content area pages calc. So now instead of loading the default content area pages block file. We want it to load the one with the extra little name on the end. I'm just going to save that. So that's everything you need to do in this top level file. You've given it a custom name and you've changed the content area block that's being loaded to a custom one. Now heading over here, there's very little that you need to do here. All you want to do is change this word single to calc. This by default, this this theme here, this uh, file here is trying to load the page hyphen single file, but we want it to load the page hyphen calc file. So, just changing that word single to calc. So now this file will be loaded anywhere that you use the calculator template. It will load this block to control your layout, and this will load this content. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little word in here, testing, and we're going to apply this new template to a WordPress page. And as long as we've done everything right, you'll see this word testing show up. Okay, so I've already made the page, and I'm just going to update the theme so I can refresh this list of page templates. And now you can see this word calculator has shown up in this list. So just to refresh, this word calculator is coming from the name that we gave the template here. So I'm going to choose the calculator page template and update. And now if we look at the page that we've just applied the template to, you'll see it has the word testing here. You'll also notice that all the other blocks are now showing. That's because this file is getting all of the blocks in the theme. So for the moment I'm just going to delete these blocks just so you can see what's going on a little better. All 
Okay. So there you go. That's showing that this word here that we've put in is now being loaded onto the page. So what I'm going to actually do now is the calculators from this site are created by a fair bit of JavaScript here, this code here, and some form code. So now because you can't you can't put that directly into a WordPress page through through the editor, we're going to put it straight into the theme instead. And I've already grabbed all of the JavaScript and all of the form code from the old HTML site and just cleaned it up a little bit so that it's ready to use. Now all I'm going to have to do, I just select all of that code, copy it, and where I put this little word testing, I'm just going to paste all of that form code and JavaScript. Just like that. I'm going to save that and now instead of this word testing, there are your calculators. So just to give you a little demonstration that these work, that the JavaScript has been loaded, we'll just put in some figures just to see it work. And there you go. So the, Java, the form code is displaying right because we put it straight into the theme file. And the JavaScript is doing its work on these uh, fields that we've entered values into and giving you this answer here. So that's all it takes. Uh, now you can use that type of process to to create anything you want. So um, you know, for example, if uh, if you wanted to put a little bit of extra text above here, then you can type some some extra text here, and it will show up. If you wanted to put some more content down the bottom you can put uh, you know you can type that directly into the template basically anything that you want to do now you can put it straight into this into this page template and you have the ability to to work in ways that you previously you would have sort of been stuck having to do a full HTML site so this way you have the best of both worlds so any styling that you apply to your theme is still going to apply to this page template because it's still just a regular part of the theme but then you have that ability to put really customized content in as well. And that's everything. Thanks.